good guys uh your boy jay here and um i'm not gonna do any uh entertaining type of intro for this video as i feel it would not be appropriate um as you guys can tell from the title down below uh yeah this is gonna be a very uh serious uh topic that we're gonna be touching on uh for this video <clears throat> as you guys as many of you may may be aware um we had a there was an incident I believe it was in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, um, if memory serves. Um, there was an incident involving some police officers, and uh, <clears throat> three of them were pinning down a uh, gentleman who unfortunately lost his life. And uh, this is Adam Calhoun giving, of course, his uh, his uh, insights on things. And uh, I want to listen to what he has to say, and then um, after the video. Um, I'm going to share some insights, well, throughout this video, and then towards the end, of course, I'm going to share, provide my insights like I always do, and I'm going to share some uh, experiences I've I've had in dealing with the police with you guys, so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get right into this. Everybody's been asking me to make a video about this, and this is not going to be easy because I'm not going to say what you want to hear. I'm going to say what I think. George. Hey, man, that's. That, hey, man, that's what you do best. You know what I mean? Don't. Don't lie to us now. Not that you have before. Don't, don't do it now. You know what I mean? Keep it real, Adam. Keep it real, man. Honesty is best policy. Say what I think. George Floyd was murdered in the streets in broad daylight by a police officer. And I'm not just going to say by one, by every police officer involved who didn't do anything to stop it. They are accessories to this murder. Facts. See, not just this asshole right here who has his knee being driven into into George Floyd's uh, neck here, as you can clearly see. Uh, Floyd, mind you, was already, you know, in handcuffs. So how much of a threat was he really at this point? I think we all ah! Shut up. I'm I'm now, as you can clearly hear, um, he was saying that he couldn't breathe. And then you heard someone yell, shut up. Sound like a woman. Probably a lady cop just told this dude, this dude who says that he can't breathe to shut up. Give me, man. <laughs> this man's pleading with his life, saying he can't breathe. This officer's knee and all his weight is on this man's neck. And what you don't see in the video behind that vehicle there's three other police officers on top of this man so he is completely not a threat then you got this asshole right here what are you doing <laughs> not doing anything just not a threat then you got this asshole right here what are you doing and i don't know um how well it's showing up on your guys's end when you're watching this uh hopefully it's clear enough for you guys to clearly see that this is not a white officer. Okay, I want to make I want to make sure that we're clear on that and because um what Adam says later on, trust me, this is going to be uh, very relative to his points later on in the video. So yeah, let's get a good look. Remember, this is not a white cop from what I could tell. He, he looks like he can be any form of uh, Asian descent or he could possibly be Filipino, maybe perhaps some kind of you know, Islander, I don't know, but he looks anything, anything that, that, that isn't white. I'm just saying, I just want to make sure we're clear on that. <laughs> Not doing anything, just nothing to see here. So here's the deal. What do I see? I see a man kneeling on another man, suffocating him, killing him in the middle of the street. Not Facts. Now here's where... I come into my thinking. So COVID-19 is over, right? America just decided, all right, fuck this shit. This is over with. So now the media goes right back to not a man killing another man. This is a white man getting away with murder, killing a black man. And not just a white man, a white police officer is killing a black man who did nothing wrong. 
That's what the media is showing you. At the end of the day, unless he is raping little kids, no man deserves to die in the middle of the street like a dog. And it doesn't matter about the color, but the media, that's all they're going to push is the color. You can't just... Facts. That's what the media does. They, they race bait. They look at a situation like this and they race bait. Let me tell you all something. <clears throat> I know I was going to say I was going to share my experience after the video, but I think now would be a good time because this will be a perfect segue for it. But let me tell you all something. I have been harassed by cops, some of which were white. I've also been harassed by a cop that looked like me. That's right. I've been harassed by a Hispanic cop. Pulled me over. Why? Because I was driving a 91 Chevy pickup that just happens to be lowered. He tried to get me for not have uh, for, for uh, a third tail light that was out. This is a 91 Chevy Silverado. It did not come with a third tail light, which is what I told this this asshole. And then he tried to tell me that my rear license plate is unreadable. Which was also BS. And fortunately, because I maintain a cool demeanor, I maintain a uh, a professional attitude, he was kind enough to let me go. Because he didn't have anything on me. He tried to say that all oh, that, that there's been many complaints about my truck. That was the first time... I drove my truck from home from work. So, yeah. Dude, I know exactly what, what you're doing. You're racial profiling. You can't fool me. I've been through it many times. And not just by white officers. Hispanic officers as well. I'm just saying. be taking people's lives who did nothing wrong to deserve it now i'm from chicago chicago motherfuckers are shooting at cops and these cops are shooting back and killing them and those cops that are protecting themselves are getting crucified for it and i think now see in a situation like that um i i side with the cops i don't care call me what you will but there should be times when it's okay for cops to defend themselves if they're being attacked, they should be able to defend themselves and not be criticized for that. Because look, I understand that just like in every group, just like I said in uh, my one of my Upchurch reaction videos, in every group, there's good ones and there's bad ones. The cops are no exception. There are some good ones that who have pulled me over and were very nice and actually cut me a break. And yes, some of them were white. Imagine that. But yeah. Like I said, some of them can be dicks. Absolutely. There are some filthy pigs on the squad. Absolutely. But there's also some good ones there too. That's in every group. Let's not get it twisted. I think that's bullshit. I am not in any way justifying what this cop did this motherfucker should go to prison for the rest of his life and the people that were around that car on top of this man's body should go to prison for the rest of his life you were all uh as an update it was reported that all these officers that were involved in this incident have been terminated which is okay fine uh, as a start but i agree with adam i believe these cops should you know be spending the rest of their lives behind bars They should be spending the rest of their lives behind bars. Or, or because it's written in the Bible, you know, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. You know, save, you know, sacrifice one or sacrifice few to save many. Give these cops a death penalty. Yeah, have these cops face a death penalty for ganging up on one man and causing him to die. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth. I'm just saying. For the rest of his life, you were all involved and sat there while this man died and did nothing 
to help him. I do not hate police officers. I understand that there are some shitty ones. We have shitty people all around us all day. Just like I... J basically what I just said. Sure, there are some shitty cops and there are some good ones. Long, and that does not exempt cops. You murdered that man. And let's just say it. You, white man, murdered a black man. That's what the media wants you to say, right? It's... It's... Let's just keep fucking dividing the country and making it everything on race. Did you all Let's keep race baiting because right now when it comes to the election in this election cycle, this election year, we're getting our asses kicked. So let, let's keep race baiting. Let's keep everyone segregated. And that's why I don't watch the news, man. Fuck the news. Fuck CNN. Fuck Fox News. Fox News. And uh, who else? MSNBC, ABC. Fuck them all, dude. Fuck the media. You know what I mean? Because all they do is fucking race bait and, and cause division and segregation amongst us. And remember the old saying, divide and conquer. That's what that's what they're doing. It's a, it's a tactic. Divide and conquer is a real tactic. You also know that there were like two Asian people involved or does that not matter? The only thing that matters is a white man killed a black man. What about every day in the summer in Chicago, black people killing black people? What about white officers killing white people? And see, and this is why I can't take groups like Black Lives Matter seriously. Because, oh, Black Lives Matter when a, a white cop kills a black man or a white man kills a black man. But when there, whenever there, there's a black on black crime, oh, apparently black lives don't matter then, because nobody's marching out against someone who looks like them, who murders someone that also looks like them. So until Black Lives Matter address the black on black violence, I can't take them seriously. I'm sorry, I just can't. Where the fuck is the news media on that shit? I wish it wasn't about race. I hate that it's about race. At the end of the day, all those officers involved deserve to go to prison. And that man with your knee on his neck while he's pleading for his life, you deserve to go to prison. And then after prison, you deserve to go to hell. I, I agree. I agree with that wholeheartedly. You know what I mean? Like I said, either they spend the rest of their lives behind bars in a freaking prison. Nah, you know what? Send them to a penitentiary. Send them to a maximum security fucking penitentiary. Let them spend the rest of their lives there. See how long they last in there. You know what I'm saying? Because one way or another, that would be the end of them. You know what I'm saying? Or give them the uh, death penalty and bury them underneath the prison. That's what I say. And just like Adam said, after that, they can go to hell for all, we, for all we care. You know what I mean? Pretty sure there's a special place in hell for those guys. For what they did to just that one man. But anyways, guys. It's a very serious situation. And again, uh, as another update, there's um, riots also occurring in, in uh, Minneapolis. Um, people's businesses are getting destroyed. Um, people are looting. And I fail to understand how destroying other people's property, other people's business, especially when they have nothing to do with what happened to George Floyd, why why should they have to pay the price for what happened to this man? You know what I mean? Why are you wrecking their business? Why are you stealing from them? You know what I mean? What? How, how is that seeking out justice for what happened to George Floyd? Someone please make that make sense. And then they, they sent a, they, oh my God, they set fire to, I believe it was the third precinct police department in Minneapolis. How is that seeking justice? Now, not that I'm advocating violence against anybody, you know, or taking matters in your own hands, but I mean, if you're going to. If you really want to do some serious damage, and if you really cared about George Floyd, then why not go after the people who robbed this man of his life? I'm just saying. I'm not encouraging anything. I'm just saying. If you're really there, if you're, if you're trying to be there for George Floyd, why not do that? Why not go after the, the uh, people who did him in? Wouldn't that 
be more be more um in line in you seeking justice than committing uh, arson, vandalism, um, robbery. And I bet half of these people who are doing all these things, all these horrible, despicable things, don't even know who this man is. Don't even know his name. At least half, if not less than half. Oh, man. Look. All I'm going to say is this. I'm going to close it out with this. Um, my thoughts and prayers um, go out to the family, the friends and family of George Floyd. Um, I hope that you guys get justice um, for what happened to your friend. You know, your brother, your father, your uncle. You know what I mean? I hope he gets justice. You know what I mean? Well, guys, one like equals one prayer. Uh, one share equals two prayers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, this was a hard one. But, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, peace.